voices in Silicon Valley say congressional lawmakers need to get a handle on this new technology before it's too late. Here to talk about this push to regulate AI is our buddy and tech expert, Dave Hatter. Dave, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Morning, Bob. As always, thanks for having me on. So Google CEO goes on 60 Minutes and says AI could be more profound than fire and electricity. Now, I don't know how you feel about fire and electricity, but I think humans, you know, generally speaking, we've done a pretty good job with those. Do, do you think it's is that an overstatement or is he is he on the right path? I think he's on the right path in the long run, Bob. I'm not sure we're there yet. You know, there's a lot of amazing technologies out there. If you haven't played with something like ChatGPT or DALI or Stable Diffusion, you know, a lot, there's a lot of different technology doing a lot of different things. And uh, I think in the long run, it definitely has that potential. Obviously, you mentioned fire and electricity. Clearly, we wouldn't have AI without electricity. <laughs> sure. Uh, you know, pr pretty important, right? <laughs> um, but, I, but I do think he's kind of level setting where this is all headed and ultimately, you know, there's been a lot of very famous people, Steve Wozniak, Elon Musk, even Bill Gates to some extent, who've warned about the possible downsides of this kind of technology. So while it probably sounds a little hyperbolic at this point, I do think it's it's extremely important that society as a whole and our lawmakers in particular begin to understand the, the long term consequences of this stuff, because I really honestly do believe, Bob, no one really knows where this is all going over the next 10 to 20 years. Well, here, I think, is the difficulty a lot of people have when you talk about regulating this kind of technology, at least, at least for me. So I, I watch some of the hearings when when some of some of our leaders are talking about things like TikTok, and I'm not here to rip on any specific politician or talk about anybody in certain ways, but people have a field day with politicians sometimes, some politicians, not all, trying to talk about technology and clearly having no idea what they're talking about. Is how, how will you get lawmakers to understand, first of all, kind of what AI is and sort of wrap their collective brain around it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand exactly what you mean. And, you know, Bob, to add insult to injury on this topic, this stuff is moving very quickly, right? I mean, yeah. we've seen AI as, as a concept has been around probably since the 50s or 60s. There have been some breakthroughs along the way, uh, IBM's Deep Blue that played chess, things like that. But you haven't really seen this rapid acceleration until the last three or four years. And that's only what's out in public, right? We know what we know because it's been released to the public. People are working with it. Who knows what's in some government lab in the U.S. or in you know China or Russia or someplace? So, you know, I think the rapid acceleration makes this especially tricky because you're right. In many cases, a lot of folks don't really understand this technology to begin with. So I think we need leaders um, like the, the tech titans, the, the people from Oracle, IBM, Microsoft, Google, Apple, to get together on this and help make sure lawmakers understand what's happening today and where this is all headed. Because I, I really do think, Bob, you're going to see now this technology used to augment jobs. I think you're going to see a lot of jobs go away, especially as you see AI combined with robotics. There's some amazing capabilities of robots out there now. Yeah. I do think new jobs will be created. You know, is it going to be an even offset? I don't know. But, you know, my big concern at the moment for all of this, and I think this is probably the least understood piece, You've heard about phishing and all these different kinds of cybersecurity attacks for years. Everything that used to be a tell, a red flag, you know, bad grammar, bad punctuation, it doesn't sound right, that goes away with these tools. The bad actors have access to this. And, you know, whether it's voice cloning, which is just totally wild, you need to check that out if you haven't. Okay. It's almost perfect. I think we really need these leaders to help our legislators understand and take, you know, action to protect society from the potential downsides of this stuff. All right, lawmakers, if you don't understand what's going on, call Dave Hatter. That's what we do. Uh, Dave, we appreciate your time as always today, and I know we'll be talking again soon. My pleasure, Bob. Thanks. Take care.